first of all. Uh, what is it that drew you to this script and to this character? Um, well, so many aspects. I mean, yeah, yeah. we can always just, you know, cliche and say, well, the movie was so great, but that's the one thing. The movie's done. What I loved about it, the script was really great for this. Um, not only the script, but then, you know, Jeremy Carver and his history and Jen and, and then the CW onto itself, and, which is a, a great network. It's a budding network and a, and a advantageous network. Um, to be a part of something like that was uh, all, all of those components. Um, <laughs> aided in my uh, character, being it? a part yeah. of this thing. Okay. So, lately, uh, time travel and sci-fi things are getting really popular. So, what do you think makes Frequency stand out from your perspective? Well, what makes Frequency stand out is that, yeah, there's a touch of the sci-fi aspect. It's really a drama, a family drama with the murder mystery and all that other stuff. But we're really grounded on reality here. Aside from them talking to each other, every other aspect is a reality-based uh, aspect and <laughs> I'm gonna help you out here. Uh, it's a reality based aspect. Um, so it, it really does ring true when you watch it. It's not like you know superheroes or anything like that. So it, it does have that aspect. To it. So your character Satch was friends with uh, Raimi's father uh -huh. and now is works closely with Raimi. So how is he drawn into the emotional part of the story? Well, because there, there's two different realities for him. There's the reality of her, him, Frank dying when she was eight, and there's the reality of uh, her saving him. You know, so it, it affects totally my relationship with Raimi, especially, because I don't have to, if she lives, if he lives, I don't have to be her surrogate father. I don't have to be her mentor. She has a father to do all of that. So, I'm more the fun uncle. You know, um, so it does definitely affect the dynamics. Now, how aware is your character, and I guess how quickly does your character become aware of the different shifts in reality? Do you only remember one, or do you learn about No, I, he, hasn't, he hasn't gotten there yet. Um, until someone tells him, or shows him, or, or some, he has some revelation, his reality is just his reality. So if they change something in the past, that's just not my reality. It's not like, hey, wait a minute, yesterday I remember this. It's not that, because it's just his reality. So how is it for you playing the different times, like 1996, 2016. It's a lot of fun. It's actually a lot of fun because, you know, I've never had to wear an older prosthetic and play a little bit older and do that whole thing, so it is a lot of fun to do that. Um, and as an actor, you know, going on these different journeys just makes it all feel fresh. So finally, if you could change one thing in your past or save someone, what is it that you would do? Um, you know what? It's hard to say that because I wouldn't want to change something and it affects negatively on something else, you know, you change one thing, next thing you know it's World War Three. you didn't know, you know, um, so as of right now I would keep things the way they are.